Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, here are a few cloud tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We're now on iTunes with our podcast. Of all the shows and news, there is a link below in the description box. If you want to discuss career opportunities or, lo- or you're looking to hire the best cloud professionals you can, you can book a one-to-one call with me using my online diary. There is a link below in the description box. And watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And special guests this week are hyperscalers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and your colleagues. This week, Microsoft has pledged to train 5,000 Australian public sector workers in cloud computing by 2020. It's an ambitious yet very critical goal by Microsoft and they plan to deliver cloud computing skills with an expected 800 public sector workers participating in the program over the next three months. They will play a key role in delivering digital services to Australian citizens. The program will accommodate workers across the entire public sector ecosystem, including government partners, solution systems, integrators and independent software vendors, along with public sector workers preparing to deliver services against the government's secure cloud strategy. Microsoft Australia's Managing Director Stephen Worrell said that digital transformation and innovation are critical to sustaining Australia's national competitiveness with Microsoft's investment in skills in startups in our nation's digital infrastructure and our 11,000 strong partner ecosystem reinforce our very deep commitment to the success of Australia and its citizens. This week saw Oracle CTO unveil the new autonomous database and stated that it is as revolutionary as the internet. Oracle's executive chairman and CTO Larry Ellison introduced the company's new cloud database this week. The CTO has also took aim at Amazon Web Services, whose databases, according to Ellison, cost more and do less. This technology changes everything. Oracle Autonomous Database Warehouse Cloud delivers all of the analytical capabilities, security features and high availability of the Oracle database without any of the complexities of configuration and administration even as warehousing workloads and data volumes change. This week saw a Gartner report with data showing women work harder than men in Australia. Aaron McEwen, the HR advisory leader at Gartner, said that gender differences in the workplace have long been a topic of intense focus and speculation, but the data from Gartner's recent Global Talent Monitor report makes those differences very clear. The report reveals that women are the driving force behind the growing effort levels in the Australian workplaces as more female employees are willing to go above and beyond at work than their male colleagues. Effort among Australian female employees is almost 7% higher than their male colleagues. In the fourth quarter of 2017, female effort levels increased 1.6% to reach 24.2% compared to just 0.5% increase seen in male workers. This is also a time when global effort levels are in decline. Despite this, Australia is powering along with discretionary effort with a full 5% ahead of the international average, according to the data. In addition, while women are putting in more effort, they have also developed clear expectations of what they want from their employer. Female workers are less satisfied with their rewards, including health benefits, compensation and vacation and perceptions of pay among women is also lower than in their male colleagues. The new IDC research reports that digital transformation efforts will add 45 billion Australian dollars to the Australian GDP by 2021. Australian businesses have rated increased profit margins, productivity improvements and cost reductions as the top three benefits achieved by the current digital transformation initiatives. The new IDC research unlocking the economic impact of digital transformation in Asia Pacific, which was commissioned by Microsoft, has expected these gains to significantly grow over the next three years by at least 40%. 
And as a result, the researchers predict digital transformation to add an estimated 45 billion Australian dollars to Australia's GDP by 2021 and increase its compound growth rate by 0.5% annually. Other reported benefits from transformation efforts were increased revenue from new products and services and improved customer loyalty and advocacy. This year will see heavy investment in core technologies such as cloud, mobility and big data. According to the survey's respondents made up of 100 mid and large size organisations in Australia, which was also followed by security, social media and e-commerce. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and also check out our latest shows with David Lindicum and the podcast link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.